guys, 2Green7 here, and if you don't know what my favorite color is by now, you're seriously not smart. So as you've guessed by now, I have this weird obsession with the color green. It's pretty unhealthy, so you're kind of watching a man indulge in his addiction right now. Pokemon have colors, great segue, I know, but a lot of Pokemon have some green on them, and in this video I'm going to show you guys the Pokemon that I think have the best shades of green in their designs. Since it's my favorite color, that kind of means that I'm also showing you guys the Pokemon which I think have the best color schemes. Now because this video has the most interesting topic among all my videos on this channel, I thought that I don't really need to bother with the editing in this video. It's not like a good amount of you guys come here for the quality anyways, but let me tell you, I actually put in a lot of unnecessary work coming up with these entries, so I'm going to show you the process. First, I basically looked at all the Pokemon and put together all the ones I thought had pretty nice greens on their skin. And yes, we're using official Sugimori art as reference to their official color scheme. Then I isolated the greens and covered up the Pokemon before the judging process began, so I wouldn't be biased and choose Sceptile. Then I disqualified the greens that were too blue because I knew that if I picked them, everybody would complain and say that I chose blues in my green list and that would be pretty embarrassing. I would look like a fool. Then I covered up the greens that weren't as appealing as I first thought they were, and finally I isolated the greens that I thought were delicious. I mean, look at these. Those are the prettiest colors I've ever seen. These are the Scarlet Johansons of colors. Now since some of these colors are pretty similar, it was up to me to come up with the final five. I mean, it was my job after all. This is my life now. And here it is, my top five. Make sure to watch this video till the end because it turns out that I actually did some research and the number one entry has a super interesting reason for being at the number one spot. So stick around to find out which Pokemon correspond to these lovely colors after this commercial break. Buy my shirts. Buy my shirts. If you don't do that, you'll get hurt. Number five. Simi Sage. Turns out it was a good idea to isolate the colors and not look at the Pokemon themselves, or else I wouldn't have been faithful and let a stinking Simi enter this list. But here we are. Turns out I think this green is fantastic. And now that we're getting into the actual list, I think it's a pretty good idea to make you understand what makes something green. You see, everything that we see is basically just light reflecting off the world back into our eyes and processed by our brains. In order to see, we need light. All the colors in the world are perceived through these primary colors of light. Red, green, and blue. Not yellow, that's a primary color of paint, but paint's stupid. We're talking about real world stuff. The color of an object is determined by how much of a certain primary color is bouncing off of it. For example, this teal Cadillac is bouncing off a bit of blue and a bit of green light, and barely any red light. White is actually a combination of all three primary colors. Keep in mind that this applies to computers, screens, and monitors even more so. Since we don't care about blue and red right now, we gotta talk about the makeup of the greens I chose. None of them are truly green, they all have a bit of red or blue in them. You wanna see what true green looks like? Like this. That's it everybody, that's the joke this whole video is leading up to. That was the purpose of this video. Like and subscribe if you haven't. But do you really want to see the truest green? This is it. I'm not a fan of the actual green, because it can never really be found in nature. You'll only really encounter true green on a computer. You know, on, on youtube.com slash truegreen7. So what is the point I was gonna make? Turns out Simi Sage's green has the most green in it out of all the greens I chose on this list. It has a bit of blue and red, but it's got the most green out of all the Pokemon here. But the next entry actually has the most balanced green. Number 4 Deerling Turns out Deerling's green has an equal amount of red and blue. While the rest of the greens on this list lean towards the blue, which I knew was going to happen, because I tend to like greens that have a little blue in them and barely any red, this green is the greenest on this list, because the equal amount of red and blue cancel each other out. I'm really glad that this Pokemon made it into the video, because I never really talked about it on this channel, but I think Deerling is a stupendous Pokemon, and its summer form is superiorly colored. Snivy and Burmy have very similar colors, but ultimately Deerling is our winner. Coincidentally, its evolved form Sawsbuck was about to make the next entry, but was beat out by... Number 3 Go Goat Superior and Sawsbuck almost made it, but the dark green you see here is actually pretty interesting. After compiling the greens in this video, I looked up a list of greens and Go Goat's green is the most European of the greens, since it could be defined as both Shamrock green and Spanish green. Pretty fitting for a Pokemon to come out of the only European based Pokemon region. Number 2 Florges 
Now this green is the bluest green on this list. It's actually Persian green. You know, like Iran. When I had a list of all the green Pokemon I had chosen in front of me and didn't yet isolate the colors, I knew that Florges was going to end up in this video. It's one of the most beautiful Pokemon out there, and apparently, I naturally perceive this Pokemon's colors as beautiful too. Now before we reveal the number one Pokemon, which is actually unexpectedly super interesting, we have a very surprising honorable mention. It's actually really funny. The idea for this list came from a video I made months ago in which I mentioned how I love Leafeon's color scheme and said that it's among my top 5 favorite greens. Turns out I was ironically wrong. It's actually number 6. I isolated the colors in everything. It's 100% irony that the Pokemon that sparked this video just barely missed the list and became the honorable mention without any bias or video based input. Noivern and Bulbasaur have very similar greens so they're honorary honorable mentions. And now, the number one green in Pokemon goes to... Decidueye. I'm incredibly satisfied that my favorite Alolan Pokemon was chosen without me even looking at him. I guess we found my favorite green. Now, if people ask me what my favorite green is, I can finally show them. But it gets way more interesting than that. I wanted to look up the name of this green. Is it forest green? Is it jungle green? Turns out that there's a system of categorizing colors called the Munsell Color System. I won't get too specific about what makes the system important, but all you need to know is that it's based on human perception. You know how true green in the RGB color model kinda looks like neon green or too bright, while well, the true green in the Munsell color system looks like this. That means that this is the green that people see as the greenest, based on scientific experiments. It just so happens that that's Decidueye's green. So that means I had blindly chosen the green that seemed greenest to me, and therefore was my favorite color. Decidueye's green is true green. And as always, stay green! This was an April Fool's video, I guess. Watch some of my actual videos. Like and subscribe, bye!